uh, normally for this unit, I have an assignment that we do the... So, boys, seriously, do I have to ask masks? We normally have an assignment oh, and then we have a test. But clearly, we've only got today and a Thursday and then you're on holidays um, and you might forget over the two weeks. <laughs> so that's just going to be crazy and we're probably behind in the, in the topics anyway. So we want to just bookend and end this unit. And so for the assessment, if you've read Daymap, the assessment is going to be your crossword complete with the working shown, as in the one that I've, you've got there that you have to do even though I've done several of those questions, and you then have to make your own crossword, all right? Um, so we'll do that, and I guess I'll check your books again to make sure that you've done your the, the exercises that we've asked to do. We want to just make sure that we finish off the last little section of our negative uh, indices, and then we want to look at scientific notation, which is very short, sharp and shiny. Read, can we please listen? So you shouldn't be writing at the moment, you should be listening and that means you're looking this way, showing um, basic manners. Aston, yep, and mask above your nose. I'm talking, that's why mine's down. All right, so hopefully from the online stuff, hmm. <laughs> you were a very quick walker or left too early. I'm going to check how long you were online for. So <laughs> we've got our two rules here that from last lesson you should have added to your rules, right? So we've got a page of notes and remembering when we say we're not having a test on this, you will be having a common test next term and I will guarantee that you will have indices in there. So you want to make sure you've got your nice formula page that you don't have to go fluffing back through everything. You've got it all there to summarise and it it's, it's easier. I would also suggest that we discovered this little property when we were doing some of the exercises that when you've got a fraction to negative one, all that does is it flips the fraction. Now you know yourself better than I do so maybe you might have to write a little bit of a note to yourself. Flips, the fraction, whatever. It's your book, your notes. Put down as much as you need so you can remember, right? And of course, when it's to a negative power that's not just one, yes, it flips it. That's what the negative does, but each one gets the power, right? Some of you might go, it's McDonald's, I don't need to write that. Ah. Right, if you have a mixed fraction, so you've got three and two fifths to the minus one, you first have to change it to a, what's that called? Improper fraction, top heavy, okay? Um, and then you can do what we did upstairs and flip the fraction. So do you need to write yourself little notes about this? If you do, do so, okay? If you think, no, I'll remember this in 10 weeks' time, good on you. Done, and you hadn't finished question one to three, which you should have, um, leave a bit of a gap, and we're having a look at question four and five, because that's going to lead, especially four, leads into um, the next bit that we're doing. So we want, I mean, you can read, it's saying, can we write these as powers of 10? Whoops. Mm -hmm. Right, so I think we all know 100 is 10 times 10. So are we happy that that would be 10 squared? Happy days, happy days. Right, 10,000, well we know that that's 10 times 10 times 10. So that means this is 10 to the three and we go oh sweet sweet oh good this is so easy why are they even asking us to do it c bah, bah. levi why is it though to the power of negative one think back to primary days well done point one 
Isn't this your tenths column? And then you've got your hundredths and then your thousandths and so on. So would you agree that that is actually 1 over 10? So technically 10 to the 1. And if I move it upstairs, the power becomes negative. So I know it's not in there, but if I now added, and you don't have to write this one down if you don't want to, but if I added C part 1, what would be 0 0.01? That's 1 over, 1 over 100. And what do we know 100 is? 10 squared. And if I then have to move that up, the power becomes negative. So that's what we were talking about with our negative power. If it's downstairs and you move it up, it becomes negative. If it's upstairs and negative, to get rid of the negative, slap it downstairs. We happy with that? Push it downstairs. So, does that help you? How are you going to do D? I mean, we move this one spot over and we got one. And this is what maths is all about, looking for patterns. We move this two spots over, two. So what do you think you're going to do with D? One, two, three, four. So we're thinking that this will be 10 to the 4. How can you check? I mean, you could try your calculator if you wanted to. You could check on your calculator what is 1 divided by 10 to the 4. They should all be the same number. We? Oui? We. Oui. How can we say yes in a different language? Which one? Hi. Hi. Oh, hey. How do you say hi then in Japanese? Oh, konnichiwa. Hmm. There we go. Oh. Come on. And I push that down. Anybody? Uh oh. Don't know what I just did. Okay. Thanks, guys. Remember, I'm under the pump. Shh. So. Very quickly, because you're about to do these yourselves. Thanks, you, Kai. You want to write as powers of 2, 3, 5, or 7. And hopefully we know some of these. We remember them. But 16, we know most of us probably want to go 4 squared, but that's not one of our options. It has to be 2, 3, 5, or 7. Clearly it's got to be 2. Well done. And you can either check it out, 2, times 2 you know is 4, so 2 times 2 times 2, that's doubled, is 8, ah ha ha! So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16, so that means it's to the 4. Agreed? You've also got your calculators that you could double check. But we're trying to do this without calculators. So, how can we then write 1 over 16? That is 1 over 2 to the 4. But that is not as a power of 2. I need it to be 2 to the something. So I want to shove it upstairs. What do I have to do to the power, right? Negative. Yep, that's all we have to do. So you're just playing with that rule and you are playing with getting to know your powers a little bit nicely. Is that okay? Oh, we'll do one more. That was a not really. Let's go West Coast colours. By the way, I'd just like to say, I'm not ashamed, even though we've lost four in a row. Go the power. <laughs> so, we have to write 25 as a power of 2, 3, 5 or 7. And if you don't know this, <clears throat> but what is 25? 5 squared, right? So we know that. Right? So to write 1 25th as a power of 5, does everyone agree? 1 over 25. Hey, Reed, you just said you weren't getting this and that you're talking through an explanation. That's not so flash, is it? That's on video now. So 
1 over 25, but what is 25? We just said it was 5 squared. Yeah? And we're going to shove it upstairs, and according to our rule here, right, to go up, we make the power negative. All right? So this just becomes 5 to the minus 2. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, it's all the patterns. I love it. Love it for patterns. Okay? Um, and the girl's about to do their test, so we're going to be really polite and quiet. But for those who need to move on, because they finished this, they're going to finish four and five. They might have already finished their, um, whatchamacallit? Crossword. Crossword. But if you haven't, that's okay, and I'll go through this again. Psst, psst. Thank you. I'd like to think you've already seen scientific notation. If you haven't, it's not a big deal. It's how we write really big, really small numbers. Okay? And this is just for those of you who want to go on to the next little bit. Um, I'm thinking most of us might do this towards the end of the lesson or Thursday's lesson and finish off, right? But this is how simple it is. If I've got a really big number, one, six, oh, 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 oh. When do we use some of these big numbers? How many blood cells does your body produce within an hour, right? What's the distance from here to the sun? Massive. Um, we can also use it to write really, really small numbers. So how big is a blood cell that you're looking at, right? Tiny, tiny, tiny. So to write those, these ridiculous numbers, we don't want to write all of these zeros. We get a little bit annoyed. So scientific notation is this. So listen very carefully. You have to have one. I repeat, one number and only one before your decimal. So we go 1.6 and we say times 10. This is the hard bit now. You have to count. You go, how many spots have we actually moved this decimal? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Eight, and you just stick an eight there. That is scientific notation. Is that was that easy? It's always times ten to the positive. What do you think would happen if instead of being a really really big number, it's a it would be a negative power. That's right. So again. 3, 8, 4, 1. It has to be one number in front. And then you do the same thing. You count how many times have I moved the decimal. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And as Ethan said, it would this time be a negative power. That's it. Yes? Sorry, sorry. Either Levi was first, sorry. Right, so if this was, uh, the question was, what if they were random numbers? So if this was an 8 and this was a 8 and this was, a, I can't change, well, to a 2 and a 3 and whatever, what the question would probably say is, you know what, round it. So if this was an 8 and they said round it to two important places, you'd say 1.7, right? So you don't write every single number. Great question. And can I just show you on your calculator, why you have to, oops, did it again. Why you have to know this is because, where's my calculator's gone? I've moved all my, who can see calculator? Oh, there it is. Mm, we'll use yours. Okay. Can you see you've actually got a times 10 to the button? Right. So if I, let's go a really big number, times equals, they can't fit that number on your screen. So it's not, this answer is not 1.27. It's 1.27 and you have to move the decimal 12 spots to the right to make it bigger, right? But would you want to write that number down? No. So we would write that on our paper as 1.27 times 10 to the 12. So we just write it 1.27 times 10 to the 12. So it's, it's an abbreviation. 
form of rounding, yeah? For really big, really small. So for those who are happy, you're going to carry on after you've done your indices, if you've done your crossword, the next exercise we're looking at scientific notation. For most of us, we'll look at that next lesson on Thursday. Okay? That was just a dip, quick one. So we're going to work quietly. It's individual work. You're whispering because we've got two people doing the test. Okie dokes. I'll come around. You can come and see me if you need assistance or I'll come visit you. Thank you. Signing out. <laughs>